Hi everyone, Bandana here. I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the DEFCON 2 2v2 tournament from War. Yes, today we are having a round two game number one between Lathans and Integer and Petkovic and Monolith. The second game will be the day after tomorrow. Lathans and Integer on the left in blue, playing as the 8th Infantry and the 3rd Armoured. And over on the right in red, we have Petkovic and Monolith playing as the 39th and 35th respectively. Let's have a look at what these guys have down here. So you have a command already deployed in Bravo. It looks like it's going to be driving back to the back of the point. Guess they're not going to push Delta at all. In the center here, we have Spetsnaz OP, some Pulmets, we have some Thesniki Metis, and we have Spetsnaz and a Spetsnaz Gru. Lots going into the middle here, trying to flood that central town. Got some recon units here, some Motraz Vedka and a BRDM-2 pushing up again towards the center. An MI-2 heading over this way as a recon chopper, and we've got a bunch of Motraz Vedka heading over this way towards Echo just to tie that down early. Got a couple of MI-24 anti-airs here, not something you see a huge amount at the start of a game these days heading up to the center. We also have... Two sets of Conkers, two Motostroke Metas, and Motostroke in a BMP-2, and a T-80BVK. Mostly heading to the center and around this area to provide coverage. Looks like the T-80BVK, I assume, is the thing going around here. And a wild guess. One Cub also in, heading towards the center there, just into that area of the map. And we've got a Supply, which is going up to the town. No Supply for the Cub at the moment. Okay, so decent spread. Focusing on Charlie over at this side. Immediately we can see there's an F-15C Eagle and an F-16C out for these guys. One heading over to this side of the map. Obviously just trying to provide some early coverage. That's Lathans. That one is Integer. So Lathans heading over this way. He's got a Bradley heading into this tree line here. Seemingly ignoring this area at the moment there has a marker has gone down there by petkovic but uh he wasn't actually sending anything there uh we got scouts here pushing up to this side of delta and then the vehicle heading up to the front there here we got a big chunk of change we've got blackhawk with arrow rifles we've got a command vehicle we've got three stingers Mech Rifles, Eyehawk, another Mech Rifles Law, a couple of M60s, and another Blackhawk of Aero Rifles. Mostly all heading up this way to lock down Delta and this town area. Maybe that's why the mark has gone down there. Maybe he knows that Lathans is going to fill it. Over this side, we've got some bits and pieces. Over the front here, we've got some Scouts. And we've got the uh, EH-60. Quick fix there. That is the new helicopter the new Recon and Jammer helicopter. Let's see where these Bradleys and Scouts are going. So, looks like they're going to try and contest the middle and also going quite deep into Echo as well. And then back here, we've got Bradleys with Fireteam Dragons, a couple of Apaches, oh sorry, an Apache, Pivads, Chaparral, and a Bradley Command. Going to Echo, okay. So, Lathans and Integer are pretty much going to ignore Charlie and focus on Echo and Delta. It'll be interesting to see how this pans out. Let's get this show on the road. Let's spin ourselves round. MiG-29 in and MiG-27 in as well. Okay. So, both teams opening with some decent ASFs. We've also got a Napalm coming in. Early doors for a Napalm. I'm wondering where this is going now. I guess to block off the road into Charlie. F-16 and F-15 get the kill. SG-27S does manage to do a lot of damage, but it's also damaged itself. MiG-27 taking fire. Does get out alive by the looks of it. MiG-29 did go down though. And those flames did very little because those guys weren't actually sending anything there. It would have been a shame if the napalm bomber had actually gone down. I'm going to see a little bit of skirmishing at this side then because nothing's going to be going into the middle for Lathans and Integer. 
some early skirmishing over here. SU-27 coming in. F-16 coming in for that, though. They engage each other. Surely the SU-27 wins this fight. Does get the kill. SU-27S still in play. Fully healed still. The Apache and the Quick Fix back out of there as the MI-24 AAs come in. SU-27S looking for a kill on something. Still going for these choppers. The Apache surely goes down. Oh, that is a lucky Apache. Very lucky Apache. MI-24s were still heading towards them. Got to be careful, the MI-24s, though. Don't want to overextend. SU-27S coming back in for another pass. Surely the Apache dies here. Come on, down it goes. Nice kill. F-15C and another F-16 in at that side. Looking for kills on the SU. SU is evacing. Does take a hit, though. Will evac. Eagle now switching targets. And the F-16 going for the helicopters. One down. A cooler also takes a hit there. F-16 gets a kill near the chopper. Will swing around for that Akula. Bad time to call the Akula and it goes down. Perfect missile strike by the F-16. Minimal skirmishing on the ground at the moment. It's all been air fighting so far. Currently a plus two to Lathans and Integer. They do have a command in the corner of this point in front of us now. Look at the other side of the map though. I'm zooming out. I'm going to get us over there. Look at this. Lathans is making a move on this other point. He wants to keep up the pressure. If he can get in there, that's three points for them. He's got the Muk Command rolling in as well. MI-24K there. Obviously poses a bit of a threat, but there is a Stinger in play. Marker's going down where Commands were. Ooh, Cluster Bomb's coming in the other side. I think we'll whiz over there and get eyes on this. This could be the death of the T-80 BVK command. Surely it dies here. Can they see it? No, they can't. They target a ground. It smokes off and manages to retreat. Paying attention there. Good. Cluster Bombers will retreat now. But over at this side... Lathans is in the point. MI-24K still in play. Napalm Bomber coming in. Looking for a kill on some of these units. Dropping at the back of the point. Are they in front of that? I think Lathans has had a lucky escape there. The command makes it in at the point. He will cap the point. Unless he drives straight into those flames. He has driven into the flames. He's being shot at by the BRDM2. He does lose the unit. But he has decapped it. Currently back to a plus two. For Lathans and Integer. Me 27 Napalm did go down in the end there. F-16 doing a good job. Coming back around for another pass on the MI-24. No, seems it's changed his mind. But Lathans not in a bad position here. Seems to have some control of this point. Reinforcements arriving now down here, though. Petkovic and Monolith in firm control of the center. But outnumbered in this point here. These pull mats from Monolith not looking good right now. More reinforcements coming in. TADBV coming in as well now. MI24VP. Laurel Reliance on helicopters by Petkovic and Monolith in this game. They're not as good as they once were. Cluster coming in the other side again. Can we get over there in time to see them get this kill? T-80BV was that for? Not even sure what they were going for. One goes down in the middle of the map. The other one is evacking. MI-24 VP did go down at this side, though. If we Phantom also went down, however. Looks like Lathans is in control at this point. T-80 
T80BV just got destroyed at the other side of the map. Good position right now for Lathans and Integer. Pretty much control this point. Just need another command in there. The Mutt CV is on the way. HE Bomber here. Not sure what he's going for. I assume not the command, but we will see. Bradley Command's actually been pulled out here. Oh, it went for the Apache. It didn't actually drop any bombs. F-15 Eagle comes in and gets the kill on it. SU-27S is in. Another SU-27S comes in as well. F-15 looking a bit rough there. But the SU-27 takes a hit as well. As does the other one. They're going to be out repairing for a while. Chaparral's doing the work there. Artillery in play now for Lathans and Integer. Taking out some of these defensive forces. Integer keeping the pressure up at this side. Lathans keeping it up at the other side. The command is almost there for Lathans. It is being engaged though by the BRDM2. Needs to get out of range of that pretty quickly. T80BV there. Pretty scary for the M60s. M60s do get a kill on the BRDM2 however. This point does fall. A plus three currently to Lathans and Integer. Integer looking a little bit sore at the other side. A few units over there certainly on low health. Markers going down the center. It looks like they're prepping to push the center as well now. Multiple M1 Abrams in play. Ito's in play. Mech rifles as well. There's a lot of stuff in there. They are going to need something to clear those buildings. Artillery wise. Still just the M109 in at the minute. A second one on the way now. More infantry reinforcements on the way. Over at this side though. Red team reinforcements coming into this point. Conker's also positioned at the side here. Potentially getting side shots on the M60s. This could be a good push here. Just needs to clear the infantry out of those buildings. And then can be back in this point. There is also a command there waiting to go in. Helicopter on the way in. What is it this time? The Akula AT, the big expensive bad boy. Needs to be careful here though. Still stingers in play. And let's be fair. Someone would be happy to throw a fighter jet into that. Good fire support from the BMD2s here. Command back in this point. And this will be a decap. The Mutt CV will have to come back down to this point. Wait, I think Lathans has made the decision to withdraw. He's pulling back all his supplies. He's pulling back his vehicles. He's leaving the infantry to their fate. Trying to get the Stingers pulled back. Yeah. Lathans is abandoning that point while they make a push on the centre here. An integer continues to push his side. Managed to take out the command tank there by the looks of it. As this point is completely controlled by integer now. There's an M1A1 Abrams command tank in there. Does have to smoke itself off. Getting hit by conkers. Phantom Cluster coming in. Looking for a kill on the T80, I'm sure. Does not get it. Goes down. Oh my word. Did it just... It got... Wait, what? The T-80 died. And I'm not sure it... I think the bombs actually dropped as the plane crashed into it. So I think the, the plane actually dropped its bombs. Because there's marks on the ground. Do you see? There's the little cluster holes. If I zoom right in. 
So I'm not sure what got the final kill, whether it was the jet hitting it or the uh, cluster itself, but down went the T-80BV. The point remains in the hands of Integer, over in the middle. Not really much progress here for Lathans and Integer. It's well defended. There's a lot of infantry in there. Mech rifles are already panicked. Going up against Spetsnaz in the forest here. Spetsnaz also panicked, but... I think they are slightly outnumbered, those mech rifles. At the far side of the map... Looks like Lafans is just going to lock this down now. Monolith has made an attack beacon on the Stingers. Could this be the pushback at the far side against Lafans? Can Monolith, you know, keep up a bit of pressure at that side and stop the assault on the middle by putting pressure on Lafans? And this side not looking great at the moment. There is a T-80 BVK coming in, but not looking great for Petkovic and Monolith in this point. Although, Integer is retreating away from that Akula. There's no AA at that point to deal with the Akula yet. Chaparral is coming in. SU-27S AA coming in there. Flying past. Oh, what a beautiful kill. Chaparral destroyed. HE bomber coming in. Doesn't actually drop its bombs, weirdly. The shoe is on the other foot. Currently a plus one. Vekovic and Monolith. Marker has gone down in that corner where the command tank is. What is going on with these aircraft at the moment? SU-27S has taken a hit. F-16's in. Get a kill on the MiG-29. They're going after the HE bomber as well. Turn into the SU-27S and get the kill. One F-16 goes down, but they've paid for themselves already. SU-22 HE bomber taking some fire and will evac. Artillery barrage from the blue team on that center forest. Still, Lathans and Ninja trying to make progress in there. Over at the far side, Monolith stalled. Is slowly pushing around a few recon units and stuff, but seems more intent on locking that down than pushing. Which means Lathans is free to be aggressive in the middle. T-80 BVK was once again destroyed there. I didn't see what got the kill, but it did go down. Napalm Bomber coming in, surely going for the Abrams in the corner. Going to be a good strike. It's routed. That's probably the best you can hope for in that situation. Route it. Calls it a lot of burning damage. It is taking a lot of damage. And obviously there's no control. It's going to die. Down it goes. What a beautiful strike. Caught in the napalm. And as soon as it was routed, that was it. And the push in the middle. Not going well for Lathans and Integer. They may be in the lead in terms of their points right now. And they're back on a plus one for controlling this side. But Interjet needs to consolidate that control and make sure that those guys can't get back in there. The rest of the map is pretty stagnant. As I say, the far side of the map there, neither player doing any pushing at the moment. More aggression in the middle from Lathans. That's where he's changed his attention. Integer at this side. Trying to be aggressive with those Brantleys, just pushing them in and out. A cooler AT in play, though. 
Nighthawk has just arrived there, courtesy of Lathans. Couple of chaparrales in play. Command vehicle back in this point, back to a plus one for Petkovic and Monolith. If they can keep that up, they will eventually win. But ideally, they need to retake this point completely, which they will. As there's still no command in there. There's no spare command. There is an M1A1 command tank on the way. Plus three to Pekovic and Monolith. Plus three is nice. Plus three is very nice. They've got a tight control of the center there. And a plus three. 14 minutes, 50 odd seconds of the victory. That puts a lot of pressure on Int and Lathans. It won't take them too long to catch up to the 800 point mark. More tanks coming in here, more conquers. That should put these guys in a good position. Petkovic and Monolith bringing the conquers in as well. Good support from both players playing together here. Trying to keep Integer at bay. And then over in the center and the far side, still no movement. Obviously that failed assault from Lathans in the middle. He will attempt it again eventually, I'm sure. Nona's now firing in towards this corner. Trying to clear the Bradleys out of that position and any AA that's there. HE Bomber coming in. Drops on the tree line. Eagle coming in, gets the kill on that though. M1A1 Abrams command tank is just about there in the point now. It's a grad coming in here as well. You can barely see the little missile streaks, but a grad hit this area as well as those Nona's. Obviously did a bit of damage, caused a bit of panic. Looking pretty nice at the moment. Marco went down the chaparral, but it has retreated. Command will roll in here. But the other command is still in play at the moment. Still a jet flying around back here. It's a seed jet. There is an Osa over here, to be fair. What is going on over here? It's not as scouts have moved up a little bit towards the center here, I think. More stuff coming in at this side. Lafan's looking to get in the corner at this point with that command tank by the looks of it. Lots of conkers here now. He is losing conkers himself, but he's keeping the pressure on. Nona's firing in at this corner against that command tank. Command tank is taking damage. Not a lot, but some. It's good harassment there. Can't complain about that too much. Might see another napalm bomber going in there. Over here. Lafans looks to be making another move on the middle. Trying to go down the road this time to avoid a lot of the fire. Some success there. It's taken a while for the Metis to engage. There we go. Another grad firing at this corner. Grads don't do a huge amount of damage to the Abrams, though. They will panic it, but they won't do a huge amount of damage. T-80 BVs being overly aggressive here, taking a lot of fire. Coming in from multiple angles, which is good. But obviously, one of them is out. Two of them are out at the other side. Command tank has been retreated. But over in the center, the command has arrived for Lafans. Is immediately taken out by an AT jet, though. Thunderbolt AT coming in as well. Looking for kills on T-80 BVs. Gets at least one kill. Doesn't manage a second. Lots of exchanges of tanks there, though. This is an aggressive push from multiple sides here on this central point. 
There hasn't been much reinforcement to this point for a while. Conkers have arrived, but aren't in quite the right position to deal with all these infantry. The air war mostly going in Lathans and Integer's favour, I think. But Petkovic and Monolith haven't done a bad job this game. They managed to catch up halfway on the points, but they need to urgently reinforce the centre. Because Lathans is in there. Good fire support from his tanks, even though they are taking fire from ATGMs. I don't think he cares too much if he even loses a couple of tanks here. Everything neutralized currently. There's no command in the center, obviously, for Monolith and Pekovic, but Red Team do have a command coming in. Another command has arrived in the center for Lathans, though. Infantry command has arrived. Currently a plus three to Lathans and Integer. Looking good for them at the moment. Command back in the far point as well. That's a plus five. Plus five. Five minutes to the victory. Looking really good for them right now. I thought Petkovic and Monolith had turned this around. But the uh, refocus of Lathans on the center. And unfortunately the lack of reinforcement there from Red Team has meant that Lathans has eventually made it through. Look at this push go. Super aggressive. But very, very effective. Loads more infantry coming in as well. Thunderbolt in play too. Can he see that command at the back is the question. If you can see that command at the back, that might be game. Abrams has been destroyed. And the command tank over here has also been destroyed by the looks of it. Unless it's hidden somewhere. Oh no, it's back there getting a repair. Currently back to neutralized. A10 coming in, looking for a kill on the T80 BK. Should get the kill, surely. A side shot, there it goes. And manages to get a kill. Oh, two kills on the AA that were there. That's brutal. Command goes down in the center. It's just simply overwhelmed. MiG-29 does get the kill on the A-10, but it did its job. And the MiG-29 goes down to the Eagle. Napalm coming in. What's it going for? Eagle's going for it. Eagle gets the kill before it drops its bombs. Nice kill for that Eagle there. And that could be game, I'm afraid. 15 minutes left. And there's the surrender. Commiserations, Perkovic and Monolith. Well played for that first game, though. Lathan's way out in the lead in terms of kills. Even way out ahead of Integer there as well. But uh, Integer, Monolith and Pekovic on similar amounts of kills and losses realistically. Just Lathan's pulling it out of the bag there. Well played to everyone in that game. Just have a look at those kills and losses. Can't see everything on that team unfortunately. You only get one player's. M109 didn't do too badly. Bradley did pretty good. Abrams was doing a good job. Let's have a look down here. Lots of jets went down for both teams in that. Lots of helicopters as well. Didn't look too, you know, different in terms of who was getting kills and losses as you scroll down here. Maybe a few more red, especially towards the end here when Lathans did that big final push. But yeah, really well played to both teams there. Really well played. I genuinely thought Red Team had turned it around at one point. Thank you very much everyone who's joined me. Tune in. The day after tomorrow we'll have the second game of this set. I'll see you all then.